From the historic hand building in St. Paul, it's the Haberdashers Couch. I'm Kendrick, inviting you to the show, starring Jaime and Dorset, featuring Todd Walker, also featuring Amy Charlo. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's Jaime. Welcome to another show of the Haberdashers Couch. You're going to have to pay somebody. <laughs> and I am fortunate enough to have Bick and Cynthia Smith back on the show, and they are part of the Sin City Tours here in St. Paul, and they have a bunch of things going on, we and do. it's nice to see you again. Good to see you. You guys look oh wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. So you're offering the Gangsterland walking tours on Saturdays Ooh. at noon and Sundays at 2, but... You'll take special orders any time, huh? That's we right, know. just like you. Oh, right? Yeah. yeah, right. Like, that's why I carry a tape measure on in case I need them. Because you never know. So, yeah, a suit, right? You never know when somebody might need an emergency tuxedo. <laughs> right? And we, we were, uh, last week, they, you were doing a tour. And yes. we had we had uh, forty plus uh, Swedes here. Yeah, we felt like yeah. forty because they were everywhere. But it was twenty two. Oh, twenty oh, two. It seemed like forty four. <laughs> There's a multiple there yeah. Yeah. for every one. Sw- <laughs> a lot of languages yeah. floating around. Yeah. Yeah. It, was, it was a cold day. There's yeah. Swedes, but uh, they were curious about your store. Right. And I am too. <laughs> <laughs> You know, every day I walk in, I'm curious. It's the old curiosity shop. But, yeah, they had a fun time walking around, okay. uh, taking a tour of your shop, and then we went out and started talking about gangsters again. It's, and this is one of the things I love about doing walking tours as right. opposed to driving around in a bus. It's because of random things like that can happen. Sure. You know, yeah. and it's more of an interactive uh, yeah. thing with the city. And it's like, no, I can't guarantee you get a tour of Jaime's on every tour. Right. <laughs> but weird things can happen on tours. I like the kickback checks. They're wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, I buy new equipment. I go on vacations. It's wonderful. Let, 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 let's, so, so if we if we got. How did you connect with this this Swedish group? Uh, just serendipity, you know, or what? You uh, know, I've known the owners of that yeah. tour company for years. Well, they they've become friends. Right. And uh, they bring groups to America mm-hmm. a couple times a year. Saxon Tours, if I can just give them a little plug, mm-hmm. S-A-X-E-N-T-O-U-R-S. And they also bring Americans to Sweden mm-hmm. for a Swedish genealogy heritage tour. Okay. Uh, so um, they're a lot of fun. They're just great people. It's funny because I, I, I did the, the Ancestry.com thing. And, yeah. and I, I found out that, that I was 23% Swedish, which, is, which made my relatives absolutely like, like me even more. Now you got to change to go to Sweden. <laughs> so that, but, that, that wasn't on a Saturday or Sunday. They must've, you must have pre-booked that in advance. We did, and, yep, yeah. Yep. We'll do tours for a minimum of um, six people, so okay. it's pretty easy. Yeah. And 20 is usually our max. We mm-hmm. had 22 with the Swedes because mm-hmm. two of them were the tour operators. Right. Uh, so, but yeah, any of our tours, if we're available, if the mm-hmm. areas are available, we'll do a custom tour. Give me just a, a, a quick synopsis of what the Saturday and Sunday tours involve and where do they start? Well, we start those over at In Four Commons. Mm-hmm. For, the Gangsterland uh, Tour. The Gangsterland okay. Tour. Start inside and then we end up, we have been in the colder months going and doing our Skyway version that okay. Cynthia developed. Yeah. Yeah. But now we do the outside because it's mm-hmm. spring and it's sure. never going to leave. It's always going to stay warm right. and perfect out. So we just take a, take around the box and get up close to history mm-hmm. and visit whoever is open right. and just have fun. It's yeah. kind of amazing how much gangster history is concentrated oh. right here yeah. around Rice Park. I mean, because right. obviously have the Landmark Center. St. Paul Hotel. The St. Paul Hotel. Yeah. And uh, yeah. there's... Um, a couple of places up, just up Wabashaw mm-hmm. Street, where the gangsters hung out, mm-hmm. Dapper Dan Hogan's place. Right. Uh, you know, so there's a lot of well, stuff concentrated in this area. Right in this building that, that was officed by one of the notorious, right? Leon Gleckman, yeah, our yeah, version right. of Al Capone. Sure. The ham building where you're located right. uh, has three basements, one of which has your leather shop. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And the first two basements were the St. Paul Recreation Company. Sure. It was an illegal speakeasy that served a lot of illegal hams beer. Right. And it had... God, not much has changed. Not much has changed. <laughs> so, yeah. in the basement, we're, are you? we're still pushing beer down there. <laughs> so, <laughs> leather and beer goes good together. Yeah, yeah. So then we have these walking tours. Uh, and then uh, the Sin City, you're now offering Ghost and Gables. Yes. Haunted Summit Avenue Tour. I think I've seen you up there. I've seen pictures of it. Yep. It looks great. Yep. Uh, you have something starting in April. This in April. Yep. 
on the 13th? Is that right? The Thursday, the 13th? Well, we do, no, we do the Haunted uh, Ghosts and Gables tour or a Haunted tour the 13th of every month. So if okay. it's on a Monday, we do it on a Monday. Right. Just because Thursday, and on the colder months, we'll do the Haunted Rice Park tour. Right. In the Skyways. And Mondays work better for ghosts, so. Well, it does yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. they just, Sundays are terrible. They want to sleep yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. They check out on a Saturday. <laughs> so rude. Can you give me a little synopsis of the Ghost, the ghost and uh, Gables? Yeah, Ghost and Gables is up on Historic Summit Avenue, which is the... Uh, has the distinction of being the largest collection of preserved Victorian homes in the United States. Right. And ghosts tend to hang out in literally familiar haunts, mm -hmm. places that look like it did when they were alive, because a right. lot of them haven't figured out they're dead, kind right. of done that way. Right. So because Summit Avenue hasn't really changed much mm -hmm. in 100 or more years, right. uh, there's a lot of ghosts up there. So again, it's kind of this concentrated area mm -hmm. uh, where there's a lot of ghost stories. So right. you get some beautiful architecture along the way. Mm -hmm. You know, we tell right. you a little history. Yeah, you get to escape a little. You do. Yeah. Right? You do. And then now you're debuting uh, an F. Scott Fitzgerald St. Paul tour on Sunday. You guys are busy. I can't keep up with you. <laughs> <laughs> How do you guys write these, these scripts well, and do the this? I come up with these ideas and then yeah. I say, send, write it. Yeah, I write, write them. Script. Right. I write them and then I tell them yeah. what to do. It's great. Yeah. But yeah, I got, you know, Visit St. Paul. We're members of Visit St. Paul. They're the big tourism yep. Uh, yep. bureau here. And they had a guy coming to do a, a travel blog on St. Paul and he wanted to know a lot about F. Scott Fitzgerald. Mm -hmm. So I took him around one-on-one -on -one, and it was so fascinating and so interesting I went I bet I could do a tour on this because there's like so much uh, of all the buildings dozens of buildings that were uh, associated with F. Scott Fitzgerald mm -hmm. when he lived in St. Paul only one of them is gone ah, yeah. and so it's just a, and the tour is not trying to be the be-all end-all on F. Scott Fitzgerald certainly you're gonna learn a lot about right. him but the the focus is uh, St. Paul as it influenced F. Scott Fitzgerald. Okay. Uh, like sure. the woman that he fell in love with, Genevieve King, mm -hmm. he met over on Summit Avenue at a tobogganing party when mm -hmm. he was 18 years old and he based all of his flapper women on her. Did she die prematurely? No, she oh, lived she? until her late oh, 80s. Okay, wow. Yeah, yeah and right. she ended up marrying the guy who became head of a big oil company. I think it was Texaco. And then after they divorced, she ended up marrying the guy who was part of Carson Peary Scott. Oh. She knew how to pick him. She knew how to pick him. She never married F. Scott Fitzgerald because he was a struggling artist. So there you go. Um, how 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 much does it cost to be in your in your favor on these tours? They they they, they vary. Gangsterland is twenty dollars mm -hmm. per person. That's everything included. Right. Tax, Tax fees, fees, everything. everything. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, haunted. Uh, Ghost of Gables tour up on the hill mm -hmm. uh, is 25. Mm -hmm. As is the Fitzgerald As tour. As is the Fitzgerald tour. And then uh, other tours range anywhere in that area up to $35 for the tasting tour that we do at St. Mm -hmm. Paul Brewing at 11 Wells. We have okay. a, a tour of Union Depot called the um, Secrets of Union Depot. Mm -hmm. And that one's fun. Yeah. Uh, that one's all indoors, so right. if you're worried about rain, and right. that one's twenty-two dollars per person. Right. We. I mean, I, it seems to me like you guys are you guys are uh, 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 keepers of the of the city. You know, I was born and raised in St. Paul. Right. And when COVID hit, mm -hmm. uh, the jobs I was doing all right. went away. Yep. And uh, after a year, I said to myself, you know what? I love St. Paul. Yep. And I want to see it come back. Yep. This is something that I'm good at and that mm -hmm. I can do. And I love showing the city. Yeah. And I love also, like you are doing with this podcast, right. I like showing off other businesses. Mm -hmm. And I like saying, Profile, you know, yeah. yeah, we're all in this together. Uh, and we're all trying to show that St. Paul is a great, vibrant city with lots Absolutely. to offer. And yeah. I love the history. And so I'm kind of like, honestly, at that age where I should be retired. Mm -hmm. But a lot like you, I love to work. Well, 42 is awful young to be retiring. I know, I've tried oh, to Cynthia, talk her I mean, into... 39, you know, yeah. <laughs> Remember, I'm just a year older than you. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, man. And the schmooze is we, getting this we, we got We got to hang out more. Now, and I, I see that the monthly tasting tour of St. Paul Brewery. Mm -hmm. uh, tell the, me... It's Tell the old Ham's complex. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 over off of... Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah on the east side, east side over yeah. on Minnehaha, uh -huh. and we do that. Uh, that's $35 a person. We do beer and spirit sampling, behind-the-scenes tours of both places. Nice. We do games, trivia. We play 
gangster cornhole. <laughs> He's proud of that. Okay, one. I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah, underline that. that. There. Yep, yep, yep. Get a lot of Ham's yep. history. Yep, okay. Get yep. to see them making the beer at St. Paul Brewing. Get to see them making the spirits mm -hmm. at Eleven Wells. Eleven Wells, the first distillery in St. Paul since Prohibition ended in 1933. Okay. Uh, they they they're pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And they even at Eleven Wells, I have to brag on this. You got to go to Eleven Wells when we do our tours, because they have a special drink that they only serve the day we are doing tours, and they call it the Sin City Slicker. So All I right. So, I did. I just so, so wait a minute. I, I, I got, I got, I got some polar bears sitting out because I know you two. <laughs> I'm going to go over there and get me one. you got to go over there and get yourself a drink named after Jaime's. You know, I can't thank you two enough for coming on the show today and updating us. Yeah. I'm super excited for your season. And we can go to where? SinCityTours.com. Okay. Uh, we are also on Facebook. CYN. CYN. Yep. Sin is in Cynthia because right. that's what you do. Yep. So SinCityTours.com, okay. they yep. can make reservations Good. and they can just send an email if they want to do a private tour. Cool. Like I said, as long as we're available, right. we'll do that. You come back on the show again? Oh, please. And Vic, we still got to get to your movie short next time, huh? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Folks, thanks for tuning in today. Have a wonderful weekend and we'll see you next week.